Bob Mueller to finish the investigation. I'm up here live at the Trump rally. Conclusion. All right. And now we got rid of Jeff Sessions as the Attorney General. So we know what's going on. This new guy, Matt Whitaker. How you doing? Is a walking conflict of interest. We up here at City Hall and they sitting here banging on Trump with all the corruption that's going on in here and they ain't asking for no subpoenas in City Hall. You feel me? You got this a new dude, so I ain't gonna bang on you, but the people that been in City Hall for the last 20 years and the corruption and the rape and the pillage in our communities, dog, Trump ain't my Trump ain't my problem. Trump ain't affecting me. This is affecting me. You feel me? The laws that they wrote with Senate Bill 122 is affecting me. You feel me? That's mass incarceration reinvented. They passed that last year in the 2018 session. That's affecting me. You feel me? That's affecting me because y'all put that bill through. And y'all want to sit here and have Sarbanes up here and won't have no investigation about the corruption that's going on in his thing. You know what I'm saying? Won't let him do his thing. Thank you all very much. Senator Sarbanes, I mean Congressman Sarbanes, how you you know who I am, right? You were hollering about a, a subpoena for for Donald Trump, right? I've been asking for a subpoena for the Department of Justice to come investigate City Hall and a Democratic Party in Maryland for the last eight years. Congressman Cummings refused to speak to me. You refused to speak to me, and the paperwork on your desk. You had a speech right there. Can't you speak about it now? We're not talking about Bob Mueller. We're talking about we're talking about we're talking about the corruption that's going on here. All right. No, I know what this is about. But see, you you distracting from the problems that Baltimore got. Yes, as a individual, as a and I'm all right. No, I'm here as a as a constituent. You are a representative of Congress that represents me as an individual. What are you going to do about protecting black people's rights here in Baltimore? You know what I'm saying? Because Trump ain't bothering black people in Baltimore. The Democratic Party is bothering people here. All right? I think you have, and, and the Democratic Party have. I've been documenting y'all for the last eight years. Mass incarceration, the prison industry. Congressman Cummings supposed to be the oversight on that. He ain't did nothing. I got paperwork. You went, no, I'm talking about you. What are you going to do about a criminal investigation? Yes, I am. Why you had a conversation with that? I came to your office. Give me your card. I'll come to your office. Give me your card. I'll come to your office. Why? You don't want to have no conversations. Why? You have a conversation with the camera on US MSNBC. This is the streets talking to you. This is Black Baltimore talking to you. This is Black Baltimore talking to you. And you ain't got nothing to say because the camera ain't rolling. Hey, G. Dano, you see this? He don't want to talk to me because the camera rolling. That's con this is our, our representative Sarbanes. You feel me? You don't want to talk to me because the camera You know who I am. You see all this? This is a sea of white people, but they don't want to talk about black problems. Oh, dog, yes. Contact with Russian officials. Lock out. The DOJ Ain't nobody gonna stop me from doing nothing that I want to do around here. Nobody. What's up, baby? I just asked Sarbanes, what are you gonna do about black people's rights here? And he don't want to do. He don't want to talk to me because the camera rolling. You feel me? He don't want to talk about black people's right. Yeah. He want to keep this on Trump instead of Baltimore. You see how many black people are here? Ain't no black people here. This is all white people. The Senate must demand that any new Attorney General uphold independent investigations. The rule of law. 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 Thank you. Mark Chuck. Mark Chuck. Mark Chuck. Pay attention to what we're doing up here, all right? This is your congressman, all right? All right. This is great. Quiet as a church mouse. Him, Sarbanes, Dutch, Mikulski, all y'all paying. What is your relationship with Alec in the criminal enterprise? Does Alec contribute to your cause? Do you got any money from Alec? 
Ago. You know who Alec is? Why would I take money from Alec? Pharmaceutical companies? Why would I take money from Alec? Yeah. All right. Eight years serving pack free member of Congress in America. You're looking at him. Yeah. You ready for that? Are you ready for this? Are you? I thought you didn't want to talk. I thought you didn't want to talk on camera. Eight, eight straight years I've been asking you to investigate the, the Department of Corrections. For eight straight years I've been asking you. You ain't said nothing about it. Tape it. Tape it. You feel me? I want you to tape it. I want you to do your job for once. Stop selling out Black Baltimore. A sea of white people. A sea of them. And then they put the homeless out on the sidelines. Baby, they're not ready for this. A dog and pony show. You want to talk about Trump, but your issues is in City Hall. What's up? What's up? Oh, dog, I'm going to take the fight to y'all's front door. You like that? You feel me? How you doing? Good, how you doing? We probably training politicians. The same way I dug in Sarbanes, I'm going to dig in you. Because y'all not going to keep abusing black people in America. You feel me? Sarbanes didn't have nothing to say until I said Alec. When I said Alec, that was the trigger. When I said Alec, that was the trigger. You feel me? We're going to talk about the corruption in there and what Alec relationship has with y'all. Mass incarceration in the prison industry. Let's handle that. Because like I said, this is a sea of white people. Ain't no black people out here. And you see how, con how Sarbanes didn't want to say nothing. Anybody come up here, dare them to tell me to leave. I might check the crowd. We'll set this shit off. You heard me, Mike. Check the crowd. They know who I am and what I can do. Uh, I don't need no microphone. Wish somebody would tell me to stop or sit down. He sound good. So thank you for voting for that. That was a big deal. That was a big deal. Explain the bill to me earlier today. And now we got to take it back, right? Because if money and power is the problem we're seeing in here today, that's how Trump got in office. Dark money, follow it. Right, that's, who that's are trying to get to office, today. who can't but afford again, to run, I just to, and uh, what he wants to do is make it mandatory or anything like that. So but that for me, if you're taking high dollar donations, you can't and, run. And, and he, he can run as an indigent. I ran as an indigent. Myself. He can run as an indigent and get matching funds laid on down the line. He can run as an indigent, not spend no money. And you start on the local level, it starts early. But if you you'd be surprised at what you can do and what you don't have to do. I want to hear him talk about. Uh, some investigation since they're talking about subpoenas. Let's start having subpoenas on the city hall. Let's start investigating their money since he want right. to talk about money. Let's have an investigation in today today's show. Go ask him. Just I did. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. All right. Since you was talking about money, all right, and money and campaign. You know I ran for office before. Uh, you know I ran as an indigent. An indigent? An indigent. I did not know that. Yeah, I ran as an indigent with no money, no finance, and I never raised no money, I never took no money. You feel me? And I did it to participate in the process. Yeah. You feel me? Since you're talking about money... Did you know I passed the, fair, the, the bill that... You, know, you just told your bill right here. Okay. All right, since we, okay. we're talking about uh, money and, and things in City Hall and money in politics, would you support accessing the grand jury to bring a grand jury investigation to the money spending in Baltimore City's City Hall government? 
Yeah. Under Senate Bill 374, a private citizen. Grand jury. Yes, a fiscal, a fiscal, fiscal. Why not? Fiscal. Let's do it. To have and um, that's what I've been asking for and fighting for. Okay. We're supposed to have, like, you got Congressman Cummings out here and you had Sarbanes out here right now. You just witnessed me digging in his ass. Mm. All right, I dug in his ass because the senators and the congressmen are supposed to be oversight. Part of the oversight is oversight in our prisons and our Department of Corrections. Correct? Congressman Cummings and them ain't been doing it. That's why I asked him about Alec, and he got he got offensive when I asked him about Alec. But he didn't want to have no conversation the whole time when the camera's in front of him till I said Alec. Alec is a key, and it ain't just Alec, it's the pharmaceutical companies and the new money that's coming into to Maryland. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I won't speak for the congressman, but he actually has been leading that fight in Congress. He's been the only, one of the only people talking about it. But he ain't, he might have been talking about Alec, but he ain't been talking about the people that Alec affect. I've been talking to Sour Brains congressman for eight years. It's a Get Shorty program about mass incarceration in the prison industry. It's a re-entry program that I gave Sour Brains, that I gave Cummings, that I gave the Maryland delegation when O'Malley created his O'Malley machine. That's part of O'Malley's machine. You feel me? So when he gets all quiet and tight, y'all, it's for a reason. Now, that's why I said you knew to this. That's why I said you knew to this. You feel me? And anything I say, you can check. I'm just saying. You feel me? And you know how I am. I'm thorough with my shit, right? I'm 100. Anything I say out of my mouth, I can back up. It's in City Hall. Go to the mayor's office right now and get my paperwork. She got my paperwork. All everything I'm telling you, she got that. We're going to come in and provide real oversight. And pull back this democratic fabric that Donald Trump has been tearing asunder for over two years. But the Democratic Party been sticking black people for 50 years. You feel me? Trump ain't nothing. All right, you just look behind you. See that? That's Frederick Douglass, right? I had to disagree with you. Though. You think that it doesn't affect your day to day? Trump don't. You know, this is this is why I say that Trump don't affect my day to day, right? Because I'm. First of all, first of all. First of all, you don't think cuts. You don't think cuts. First of all, I'm gonna. You, I'm gonna. Am I gonna answer your question? You gonna let me answer your question? Yes or no? First of all, I'm homeless. Okay. All right. I've been homeless since 2011. I've been working homeless. Number two, I have no health care because they won't give me health care because I, I can't verify my income. All right. Trump didn't do that to me. He's not gonna help you. Mm. But see what I'm saying? Fuck who helping me? Fuck who did it to me? I don't know about you know what I'm saying? Trump, Trump, saying? Trump didn't do that to me. Yeah. Governor O'Malley did that to me. The Democratic Party did that to me. You feel me? Trump's riding a bus right now. He can only drive the bus for four, five, eight years or whatever. The ones that have been affecting me, been the congressmen and the senators and the Democratic Party. For any city, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, any major city that has a high density or a black population is run by the Democratic Party. And the Democratic Party been fucking us for 50 years. Period. I'm from Chicago, dog. So how would other parties have been helping? And neither one of the parties going to help us. All right, so who's going to help us? Neither one of them is helping. They, they share mass incarceration. They share mass incarceration. What's the angle? Huh? What's the angle? How do we turn it around? All right, you, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews been here for four, the Jews been here for 400 years, right? I'm telling you, how do we how do we do it? Because we came here as property. How do we fix it? How do we fix it? The Jews was here for 400 years. We've been here for 400 years. Give us dual citizenship. Give us a choice and the option to have another another birthplace or land, a land of Kush, where we come from. You feel me? Because we are property here. We traded the penitentiary. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we steal the cash crop. Just huh? No, 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 no. Donna, who? Ghana, the country is offering dual citizenship. Yes, and I've been fighting this fight for the last 20 years. I know they're saying, it. and that's what I'm saying. Who's gonna open that door? You feel me? Let us go. Way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. That's my. That's Marcus Garvey. Let's go to Marcus Garvey. Let's go to Third Good Marshal. You don't need me to do that. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Yeah, you. That's a misconception right there. No, 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 no. I'd like the officials are, are going to solve the problem. No, 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 no. Elected That's officials are going to be part of. The elected the people. The elected officials are going to be part of the solution. You got to no, be a part of the solution. But part of the solution. Right. All right, because y'all created the problem. The Democrats created the problem. When you did Bill Clinton's crime bill, yes, really, created the problem. Okay, that's a way to look at it. I don't know if I... Mass incarceration, the war on drugs? Yes, the Democrats created that. People would be mass incarcerated and put in slave ships before the Democratic Party existed. Uh-huh. Now, now, so you, now you recognize our worth. Now you, you, you thank you. You speak on behalf of the party. You speak on behalf of a black man. I am a black man. That's what I'm saying, okay. black man. All right. That's what I want to hear. Fair enough. You're a black man. And I'm not an abusive person. See, I can talk to people. They just don't like my conversations. And I appreciate people that talk back instead of cutting and running.
Hi, you know, he's in power, which is 